I'm just going to go out there and say that poor communication and poor planning might be like the biggest like weakness and roadblock for worship teams. Totally. Like the number one thing. And it's, it's so easy to just, you know, take an hour every week um, planning things out, communicating well, it makes all the difference. But I get emails probably weekly from people just saying like, hey, I'm just so tired of getting the set list, you know, the night before. Yeah. and where I come in and everything's changed and they are just stressed and they become unhappy and, they, and who wants to be a part of a worship team like that? I mean, most yep. most people have full-time jobs and families and this is their extra time. And, um, and so it's so important to honor your team members and to just make it easy on everyone and plan well. So we, we just wanted to give our like personal um, experiences and feedback on what we think good planning looks like for yep. worship teams. Yep. Yeah, so... I mean, obviously, I think a big thing is is far enough in advance. So we always send out an email or always did, always do send out an email that's like, if you have any block out dates, be sure to put them in. That's yeah. like step one with planning center. They make it super easy, but you want to know when people aren't available so that when you go to make the schedule, you already know that people are going to be gone before you put the schedule mm -hmm. together.